Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and before you click away, this is not clickbait. All right, this is going to be hacking. All right, this isn't the same kind of hacking that you think. This isn't going to be me hacking Roblox. This is actually me programming, and I'm going to be showing you how to do anti-hacks. Here's a big difference. If you are somebody that downloaded a program and you're injecting something into Roblox to give yourself the ability to fly, to jump, to run faster, stuff like that, and you don't know what's actually going on, you're not a hacker. All right, I'll tell you that right now. And I'll say it to your face if you'd like me to. But the person that made the program, that went through and got the code, got the exploit, got that stuff, that's the hacker. So when you see somebody jumping around and stuff like that, you don't call them a hacker. Oh, there's a hacker. No, that's that's not a hacker. Okay, that is an exploiter. That is a cheater. That's whatever you want to call them. They just downloaded something that you could probably use as well. Don't, because you shouldn't. On that note, let's get started. Um, the song you're about to hear in the background is Prono Bozo. It's Zero One Everything, and the name of the song is called Reinvent. And it began a new let's do this. So, this is my sitting room, and as you can see, I'm in creator mode, whatever you want to call it, studio. Um, I'll even show you some of the secrets that are around here and stuff like that, but first things first, we are wanting to prevent people from doing the sit jump or infinity jump. We want to prevent people from doing the speed run, or running really fast, and last is we want to prevent people from actually flying, because over there is the land that I'm actually creating for the game that's going to be coming soon. Right here's my actual sitting room where I've done the 30,000K, 10K maze and my sitting room itself. Uh, oh, by the way, um, big shout out to Mummy McSpringy for making my Code Primate chairs. These things are amazing. So, uh, oh, by the way, these uh, chairs no longer kill you. All right, I, I thought that was a little harsh after I'd done it. So if you happen to get up here and like try and get into the one of the chairs you just get teleported back to here Boop, like that so oh i gotta fix the lighting in here by the way oh man probably threw in some more pictures and stuff uh let's do this let's get started uh because we we do have a lot of programming to do so the way you detect it is basically make the client itself check against if something has changed so over here on the right hand side i don't know if you can see that very well um you go down to starting player Starting character scripts. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna insert a new object, local script. Right here, hello world. Let's go ahead and take that out. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Also, um, I do have this all like pre written. I wrote it all last night. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just print uh, code prime eights uh, anti exploit. Ex exploit, 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 script loaded, version 1.1, 1 .1. um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at 1.1, 1 .1. uh, actually, I'm gonna write demo out here to the side, that way, uh, we can tell whenever I run it, like, watch here, let's just run it real quick, boom, there, I'm in the game, and if we go F, Nine. Oh no, right down there. I don't have to do that tonight. I'm not actually in game game. Right here. Code primates anti exploit loaded demo. Alright, let's stop it. Go back into the local script. Alright. First thing we need to do is me dot parent. Oh sorry. Um what do, what do we call it? Me. Sorry. Script dot parent. Parent. Wow. I cannot spell tonight. Find first child humanoid. Okay, what we're doing here, when you load in, actually here, I'll just show you what we're doing. This script.parent is a function. This says, hey, for me, wherever I'm at, I want you to go up one level, and then I want you to find the first humanoid. I'll show you what that looks like. So when the player himself gets loaded in, hello, where's your headphones? There they are, dude. Over here, if you go into the filter world, we're gonna look for player one. Right there, player one, okay? Inside player one, he's already got his scripts and his body and his pants, shirt, hat, whatever. Right here is humanoid. 
Okay, if you also look, there should be a script, local script, which I didn't rename. That says script, go to the parent, which is player one, and now find the first one, which is human. Boom, right there, right? We're gonna start looking at this, which is the, uh, the part of the player, part of the model that actually has the influence of jumping, sitting, stuff like that. So, let's go back into our script. Stop. I hope I'm explaining this okay. I sound like a crazy person at the moment. Hmm. The coffee is good tonight. All right, back into the local script. I'm actually going to rename that because I don't like local script. Anti-hacks. No, it's not called hacks. Exploits. One of the biggest things I've I've fought against, like ever since I was a teenager, is the difference between like hacking is not a crime. All right, exploration of technologies is not a crime. Wanting to know how a VCR works by pulling it apart and looking at the components and looking at the board itself, that is not a crime. That is curiosity. That is wanting to learn more, learn how something works. One of the biggest um, roadblocks that I got into, roadblocks that I got into with my teachers was they wouldn't explain things. Like they'd just have you read the book and learn it. Or like teachers nowadays are like, well, if you don't know the answer, Google it. Um, so that's fine. I'm more than willing to like go and Google it, but teach the answer. That's no offense to teachers. It's just saying. Like, <laughs> This, this video is going to be very insulting to a lot of people. I apologize to all hackers and all admins and all teachers. My bad. <laughs> let's, okay, okay, let's get going. <clears throat> and we're going to do the test counter. And I'm going to set that to a zero. Last time is going to be set to a zero. And last state will be set to a zero. So I'm basically, I'm creating three variables that or nothing at the moment. Um, I want to connect a change state to a new function. So let's go ahead and create our function just real quick. Function check state and then give it state as a variable. And we'll leave that alone for a second. I need to connect it to the humanoid or the body. So me dot state changed. We're going to connect check state oh by the way this script should be available on Roblox if I can put it on there without a price I'll try to no guarantee but if there is a price I'll, I'll keep it as low as I can so um, state change connect check state basically where it says hey anytime me which is the humanoid part of the body changes a state we need to run this statement check state check state automatically gets uh, enumerated state passed to it um what i mean well actually here i'll just show you what i mean let's just do print state there you go now if you look down here in our um task right down here go, 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 go. Now I start walking around. Where is it? Why is it not showing? Oh no! Couldn't find first child. Okay, stop. Stop. Find first child is not a valid member of model. Yes, it is. What? Find first child. Right. <laughs> okay, they're right. This is not, however, find first child with a capital F. By the way, if you're not used to Lua, Lua scripting is very meticulous about upper and lowercase. So like the word and is a keyword, but the word and is not. So I could say the word and equals test, and that would be or just test or three or 23 or seven or cat. Like, that would be valid, and I could call and. Don't do that, that's very bad practice. <clears throat> Sorry, got off on a tangent. Okay, so, um, let's take that out. There we go, save, a five, here we go. <sighs> so like the fourth time that song's played? 
It's a good song. Uh, okay. Find first child. Okay. I did it again. Go back into here. Find first child. Thank you. Save that. Run that. Here we go. Here we go. No errors this time. Absolutely perfect. There we go. So now you can see um, every time my character changes a state, it will say something. So, like if I, I'm running, running no physics, and then jump, landed, jump, falling, landed, jump, free fall, landed, jump, free fall, landed, stuff like that. Yay! Now, um, I can actually go in here, watch this, player one, and we'll do this a little bit later so you can see, take that out. Go into humanoid. Now, if I'm constantly sitting, which is what one of these hacks does, it constantly makes your character sit. Sit, 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 sit. When you're in a sitting state, click, you can jump out of it, which is how the infinity jump works. You're constantly sitting and constantly jumping, so you get out of the state and can jump upwards. That's bad. So. Um, blah, 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 blah. There we go. And I'll, while we're here, I will show you this. Where is walk speed? Walk speed is normally at 16. I'm going to set this up to 200. And boom, now I'm running. So that's how the speed hack works. So if you see somebody running really fast, basically they've just modified their, their humanoid to run 200 miles per hour. Or whatever it is. Feet, studs per second. I don't know. Stop. Let's prevent it. Here we go. So, the first one is going to be a check. Um, print state. All right, this is going to be a jump hat checker. Um, if the state is equal to a noom dot humanoid state type dot seated then okay so this is the first part of the if statement uh, I'm going to check the last time they jumped or sat if last time is greater than OS dot time minus one then test counter equals test counter plus one basically we're gonna test um, if they sat down more than once in one second. If they did, add one to my test counter, okay? We're, we're gonna test it and see how fast they're sitting down. If they're continuously sitting using the exploit, it's gonna go bam, 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 like really fast. Faster than, than humanly possible. Faster than you could actually sit into five, six, seven chairs at one time. Even if you were in Lumber Tycoon 2 with stacked chairs, you could not jump this fast or you could not sit down this fast. So, let's get to the next one. Test counter equals test counter plus one. If test counter is greater than say two, because we're always gonna start at zero. So zero plus one is one, one plus one is two. On the third one, it will be greater than two. So if they did it three times within one second, there's a problem. Then um, let's go ahead and just do kill player. Uh, oh, by the way, dash dash is commenting. So it doesn't actually do anything. It becomes white space once it's compiled. Me dot health equals zero print me dot parent dot name comma you were just caught jump jump hacking and let's give him a smiley face why not little 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 all right so that ends that um if the if the counter is not greater than two, else uh, I'm not going to put any kind of else in there. On my other script, I actually put jump limiter and then gave you the count to tell you like how many times you were jumping too fast. Actually, let's do that. Else print um, 
jump limiter and then dot dot test counter Oops. counter like that and basically the double dots in between that that con that's concatenate or concatenate that's where you take two strings put them together two numbers stick them together whatever you want those those variables stick those together and print it hopefully it's a string um, if the OS time, okay, hold on, where am I at, where am I at? Here's the first else, here's the second else, so I'm gonna go in here, else, last time equals OS dot time, uh, test counter equals zero. So the last time it was checked, okay. If the last time it was checked against the OS timer minus one second, if everything was done within one second, then we go ahead and reset the last time that we saw it to um, our new time. That way, when we come back in, we're like, hey, what's the, the new time? Is it, is it lower than what we're supposed to be looking for? Yes, no, okay, fine. So, that should be everything that's in place. Let's go ahead and F5. All right, so we are exploit testing. Oh, I, I guess seated would be what I actually need to do. <laughs> Not jumping. So let's go player one. Let's go look for player one. That's me. There I am. Let's go ahead and seat him down. Become seated, sir. Seat. Sit, sit, sit. All right, so if I start just clicking, clicking, I can get close to it. Hold on. Can I do it fast enough? That he... Yeah, there it went. Boom. If he was sitting down way too fast, way too many times, it's wrecked. It's just wrecked. And we could probably increase that to like four because it would still be running really fast on exploit. So basically the jump hack has been prevented. Now, um, I do recommend that you change the name of it because if they have something to go in and check to see if there's a script running, they're going to be checking against the name. And we, we like on the client side, running a local script, you can stop it with an exploit by checking against that name of the, the, the script that's running. So change it to your own uniqueness. Change it to anti catch or Bob Cool's awesome building script or something something unique. Don't leave it the same as mine because mine's being displayed right now and they're going to try and prevent against that. So it's kind of like this, like they found a way around it. So now I'm making an anti way around it and now they're gonna go back and be like, okay, now we need to do this. So does that make sense? I, I hope that makes sense. Oh gosh. I normally, like, I used to make a lot of programming videos and explain them a lot better than I'm doing now. Um, hmm. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, the next thing that we want to prevent against, scroll down a little bit, is anti-flying. So, uh, anti-fly checker. And by the way, if you have a different script inside your server, like an admin script that allows them to fly or allows them to run faster than that, you might want to turn these off because the moment they give themselves the command to fly, it's going to kill them. So if state equals inium, inium dot humanoid state type dot flying. Then there's nothing we gotta check here. Let's just do in dot health equals zero parent me dot parent dot name dot dot comma you were you were just caught lying. How did you do that? Question mark smiley face because I don't allow flying, flying in my game. <clears throat> you don't have the ability to fly. So if you start flying around, I know there's something wrong and I just click, oops, reset, I'll reset you. All right, the last one is the anti-speed hack, or sorry, anti-speed exploit. You guys got me saying it now. 
anti-speed walking. There we go. That's much better. So we don't really need to check the state. Did I check the state down here? I didn't even check against the state. All right. If me.walk speed is greater than 16, then me.health equals zero. Print me.parent.name. Basically, this just says the person's name, comma, was, uh, or you were caught speed hacking. Smiley face. All right, save that, run that. By the way, I did use greater than. <clears throat> so if they're running at 16, like this is 16 right now, this is fine. I don't mind this, this is normal. Uh, this is also why I took out one of the blue boxes. The blue box that's in here that gives you the 2000 speed and the green box that's up there that gives you the 100 speed. And I will put a increase in speed later but it's going to be because of a special item and everything else. Anyhow, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm off on a tangent again. I am so sorry for my ADHD tonight, but I'm, I'm really excited about this because this is, it's been a while since I've done a scripting tutorial video and I love doing it. Okay, humanoid, there we go, okay. So let's do like we did before and just set ourselves up to 200. Now I'm not moving or doing anything, right? That's because we haven't changed states. But the moment I start to run, <laughs> yay! So, <laughs> and that's that, that'll reset them back to that, and they'll have to either a rerun the exploit or rerun their stuff. So. All right, and there's a, there are other things that you can do. Possibly do um, anti gravity hack or anti gravity exploit, where the gravity actually is inverted and they start to rise. I'll be working on one of those. Uh, there's a couple other things that I'm going to be working on. Here is the. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and stop. Here's the whole rundown again, one more time. Over inside your workspace, down in starting player, starting character scripts, create yourself a local script. Um, print something out up here if you want to, you don't have to, and then um, you need to get the humanoid and then set your three counters. Did we use all three of those? Yeah, last time. What about last state? We didn't use last state, did we? So you could actually take that out. Oops, that one. Oop. And then uh, we created ourselves a function to check state, which is passed in through here me.state changed connect check state and check state will send you the state the current state that that character is moving in from there we can check and do anti i don't like calling it jump anti uh, let's see anti infinite jump checker there we go check to see if the person sat down if it was less than a second ago then go ahead and add one to the test counter. If the test counter becomes two or more, no, if it becomes over two, then reset the character. If uh, not, tell them how many limiters there are. Um, and this we don't actually need. We'll, we'll take that out. There we go, save that. And then uh, if, let's see, if the counter is greater than two, then do that. But if the time is greater than one second ago, then go ahead and reset the timer to the last time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and that's just going to be continuous, so that's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Control Z. Control Z undoes things. And uh, the anti fly, we check for the state of flying. I didn't actually test that one here, but I know it works because it's the automatic fly state. Um, set their health to zero, 
print their name, stuff like that. And you don't have to print their name. If you have a band command or if you have like some other thing that you want to do, if you want to teleport them into a specific area that's inside a gel with no clipping or something like that, I don't know. It's your choice. Whatever you want to do to them, I'm just choosing to set their health to zero. If you want to like break all their parts apart, you can do that too. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I'll make sure this gets posted tonight. Uh, the script gets posted tonight. Video should be out tomorrow, which is now now for you guys. So I don't know. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I love you guys very much. Stay safe out there and keep scripting. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.